Greetings, gentlemen. Hello. Is Hello. there a fly? Yes. Uh -huh. it, it just flew past. It's gone. Never mind. All right. So we have a big cluster fuck of things today. A cluster fuck. Yeah. A cluster fuck. Or a fluster cluck. A fluster cluck. Whatever you want. I, I like that word. A fluster <laughs> cluck. A fluster, <laughs> a fluster <laughs> cluck. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Uh, Valve gives 23 gambling sites 10 okay. days to shut down. How many? 10 days. <laughs> 10 Valve, days to Valve, cease operation. Valve, Valve just face laid down. Deletion. Deletion. Oh my god, it's a like reboot. Oh yeah. yeah. Like the TV show Reboot that used to run in the 90s? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So deletion, holy, okay. Yeah, okay. And they're so, not gonna face legal action? Of course. That is, that is legal action. They're, they're gonna be suing them. Basically, um, <laughs> keeping in the mind of the clusterfuck, uh, last week, um, I don't remember if we covered it or not, basically a huge uh, Counter-Strike skin, Counter-Strike Go skin gambling yes. site um, was exposed. Well, it's more the we owners of The owners got exposed. exposed. There you go, the owners. So Tom oh. Syndicate and another guy. Um, and basically, they were telling people to go on their site and gamble. But the thing is, not saying that their kids can gamble on that site, which is illegal. And they also did not well, disclose that they were the owners, which well, is illegal. Kids can gamble. It's not really gambling, but it's like gambling. It is like gambling. It's a gray zone. So it technically, it's illegal for kids to go do. It is a gray zone. However, the skins have monetary value, and you can yep. win or lose. Money. Yeah. So totally. I, in my I case, think, yeah, that in, my, in my opinion, that is totally not correct. Yeah. And ongoing a <laughs> um, file suit against Valve because they're letting gambling sites run rampant with their products. Uh, Valve decided to go. Well, you know what? All the gambling sites. No, stop. You're using our our game to make profit. And considering that CS:GO is it's kind of like gold sellers, kind of. Yes, kind like of. World of Warcraft gold. That's sellers. weird. I don't think anybody's made that comparison yet because I've been reading a bunch of articles about this online. I don't think anybody's made any that's comparison that's about really gold comparison, sellers. I think I find. I mean, because you know how gold sellers do it, right? It has always eluded me, but in a way, I thank them for the success of Warcraft movie in China. That's the only good thing about gold sellers. Um, to be very honest, uh, well, what they do usually is they find a way to have in-game. Uh, in-game objects mm -hmm. and that they acquire because I know there's some games okay let's all use like Guild Wars 2 as an example okay if you want gold what you could do is you can get gems off of them yeah and gems equal because you can trade way. gold for gems so what they do is they have like a room full of people that are just like farming stuff for gold and then with that gold Bless you. Hold Bless you. Up. Yeah, you stole it. Sorry. I stole his sneeze. <laughs> um, and then with that gold, then they go and they trade it for gems that you can buy off them. Or vice versa, right? They'll sell you gold and you can oh, trade yeah, it in for gems. Yeah. Right. Anyway, so... It's yeah. the same idea because skins, depending on how rare they are, or how cool they look, like some have really cool nerf guns. Yeah, and there's, there's some like cool stuff. Really I, sick decals, like some are worth like a thousand dollars. I know that there are ones that are like three thousand dollars. Knives are super expensive. Yeah. And like, just imagine you're putting in like a, your crappy like 65 cent weapon, and you win like a, a knife that's worth ten thousand well a thousand dollars. Yeah. For a skin in a game, and like, it's a multi-billion dollar. To, I think I think we should clarify that this doesn't this doesn't really cover uh, people who sell skins. No, 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 because no, no. That's no. completely different. That's fine. Val yes. endorses people who sell skins. Yes, because there's somebody in Montreal actually. who's one of the biggest. And he uh, makes, as a Russian guy, and he's one of the biggest. He sales. makes a living out of it, and that is completely fine. I mean, that's endorsed by Valve. He's making, you know, he's living off of his art, which is fantastic. Um, but people who play, get a skin, and then sell it, or gamble to get nah. it, it's uh, nah, 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 nah. sketchy. And. Valve is trying to, you know, sending cease and desist letters to every company who's using their platform as a means to yeah, but I think in the bad hammer, man. I think, I think pretty much the entire canon is what's the fact that people got exposed for doing that. Because you can't, you, you can't do that, man. You, can, you can't Valve? say that you're gambling and then telling your viewers to go 
play on this gambling side and then you oh I forgot to mention I own that website yeah, so that's... I'm making all the money. Yeah. I forgot to mention is the very important part of that. Yeah. Because syndicate it's, it's synthetic. Syndicate. Synthetic. Syndicate. Sorry, syndicate. sorry syndicate, my bad. Uh, synthetic syndicate like an esports team. Oh <laughs> yeah. Synthetic, um, he was like talking like, oh my god, I've discovered the greatest website yeah, ever. Guy, right? I was There's both of them. Syndicate and synthetic. I don't know. No, the other I don't know. I don't okay, remember. Whatever. Well, I know it's Tom Syndicate who is the owner. Yes, that's yeah. right. Okay. And he was like, oh, uh, you know, there's this great website. I like, I, I just found it out. I this made and that. Eighty dollars, which like... is so so illegal, like so illegal. Yeah. But that's not what kickstarted everything. Well, it, it helped put fire on on it, fuel it, on the fire. Yeah, the thing is, Valve was already getting sued by parents. Parents because so Valve kids. got fed up quick, man. They they don't yeah, they don't mess around. So. Absolutely. So I mean, this is just. It's adding fuel to, to the fire. Oh, I mean, I'm, I'm fine with Valve shutting down gambling sites. Because, That's okay. Yeah, I'm okay with it. What do you think? You, seem you don't seem to be okay with it. No, I'm thinking the bad hammer is coming. Yeah. Well, yeah, like you said, strike them down. <laughs> with the fiery rage of Gabe Newell. Newell. <laughs> Gabe yeah, so <laughs> the rage of Gabe. It. 23 sites as of yet. 23, yeah, 23 sites. Uh, 10 days to, to shut down, so official cease and desist. Uh, among those listed, CSGO Lotto, which is the biggest one that has multi billions of dollars. CSGO Wild, CSGO Diamonds. Uh, CSGO Lotto has been offline since July 8th, by the way. So they've Dude. already taken their stuff offline, yeah. that's good. So, and apparently it's also spreading to other uh, types of games. Uh, from what I see right here, yeah, Dota 2 has also been shut down. Well, not Dota, but Dota 2 eight. gambling sites. Dota 2 skin gambling sites have also been ordered to shut down. Wow. So, I mean, good, that's fine. I mean, more money for the companies, and I'm totally down for that. Yeah, yep. not Ball needs any more money. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed our vid. If you did, you can check out our other videos right there. If you like the TMS swag, you can check out the link down below for Madden clothing and check out our other cool clothing. And if you want free games, because who doesn't, well you can also check out our other link down below for Gamers Giveaway, who give away one game every week. So check that out and thanks for watching.